All right, boys and girls, while you're watching this vlog right now, it's officially Spooktober. We're right in East Nashville at Devil's Dungeon. Are you a big streamer? Yeah, I'm a big streamer. <laughs> uh, my personal philosophy on the stream is, we can all go and try to tough guy this thing out, like, oh, I'm not afraid of nothing. We can get a couple jumps. I like to get that first scream in, even if it's like intentional. <laughs> then because it, like, it, like, it induces fight or flight and you're way more scared. That dude got you. He, he got me. Taylor, hand me my tools. Boys, summer is here. Well, what better way to celebrate than with the Chevy Silverado? Silverado summer. Think of all the possibilities from DIY projects, hardcore work, and off-road excursion. Chevy Silverado has the capability and technology to make this summer the best one ever. With over nine different Silverado miles and multiple engines to choose from, from the Turbo Max to the 6.2 liter V8 to the Duramax diesel, you can trust Chevy with all of your uh, power and performance to get anything done. We've been on the road li a lot lately, boys, and everywhere we go, it seems to be an army of Silverados and Chevy people alike hooting their horns and get after it. Head over to Chevy.com to buy whatever Silverado you would like. The official truck of Bustin' with the Boys. Big hugs, tiny kisses. All right, boys and girls, it is, while you're watching this vlog right now, it's officially Spooktober, but last week in Spooktober, gotta love the vibes. This is, we're right in East Nashville at Devil's Dungeon. Uh, went to Five Points Pizza, got me some garlic knots before that, but the vibe, dude, leaves are on the ground. There's crunching on the feet. People are dressed up. I went to the cashier to order my slice of pizza and my garlic knots. She was a dead woman. She had cuts in all over herself. People are really buying into spook and I fucking love that. Devil's Dungeon, we called them. G Baby called them and they're gonna let us shoot 10 minutes before, right? 10 minutes? It's gonna be a hell of a time. Got my wife, a couple of my boys, Will, Charo, his boys. It's gonna be an amazing time, dude. I can't wait. I'm so glad we're embracing the spook together right now. You, no, are you a big screamer? Yeah, I'm a big screamer. Uh, my personal philosophy on the scream is, we can all go and try to tough guy this thing out, like, oh, I'm not afraid of nothing. We can get a couple jumps. I like to get that first scream in, even if it's like intentional, then because it like, like, like induces fight or flight and you're way more scared, way more scared the whole way through. I'm trying to fear for my life. I'm trying to wonder. If one of these guys actually lost their mind, he's actually gonna stab me in the, in the chest before this is all over. What do you think about this guy? He's gonna die. I'm worried about him fitting through the door for obvious reasons. Your head. No, I got it. Okay, I got yeah, it. I was making sure, I was making sure. But he is scared. You can see his nervous energy. He's like pacing around, he's moving, he's like, yeah, you know. He'll be all right. He's gonna be fine.
Hungry Tack! Oh, God. Hungry! Hungry! Here, it's like, oh, it's like, oh. I wasn't well after that one. Oh. Oh, shit. Hey, what's behind Yeah, I mean, I would say the beginning, the way they put you through a maze, the, I think the one thing they did really well was not, like, you go into rooms and there's, like, no sound. And it's, like, super eerie, and then all of a sudden they're hiding. And you say, I know they're hiding. And they stay so so still to where you think, hey, maybe they're not actually hiding. That's when they fucking get you. Maze can get frustrating. Yeah, how many times have taken the maze? Like seven. And then uh, I really liked the 3D glasses thing. It was cool. It was kind of trippy. Overall, I give it a 4.5. What's your initial reaction? Rate it. How's your heart rate? I'm at a 96 right now. I'm at a 104 right now. Give me the back. Oh. Like when I said your name. Well done. 
the demons and everybody well timed good patience well timed scares uh, long got to go through mazes and it's not just one maze you go through like two different mazes which I thought was incredible I was gonna give it a I was just gonna give it a 4.5 just because I was let down by not having a chainsaw at the end but then the chainsaw coming after it's like over that boosted it to a 4.5 Overall, 4.5. It might be the fastest 40 you've ever like, I took off. You were out. I took you were off. Out. I didn't take off. <laughs> I'm sweating. That wasn't fun. Look at my arm. We did it. Look at my arm. Yeah, that was, that was tough. Best scare of the night. We're in that maze. I don't even know if you got it, but Will starts to turn a corner and a guy jumps out at him. He literally flew like four and a half feet back. Like oh. slammed against the wall, hit the wall. Hard as hell. It was awesome. Hey, Will. Willie. Beast house. That's what we're Willie. Yes. <laughs> I was telling them scare of the night was in that maze and that dude got you. You jumped like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you missed that one. And he, he got me, but I knew I wasn't delusional thinking that there was a dude with a hammer running around. Literally like five minutes later, he said, I swear to God, I just saw a guy with a hammer. And like five minutes later, got his ass. It was, all, it, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Devil's Dungeon. Thanks for hosting the boys. Incredible. Outstanding time. <laughs> It really was. It was. It was awesome, dude. Everything was amazing. Obviously, this comes out on Spooktober. We have rounded out 31 days of fright. We cannot thank you enough yeah. for being a part of the spook, embracing the spook. And now, guess what? The rest of the holiday season is here. Cheers. We're gonna gorge ourselves in a couple of weeks. We ended with a bang, too. With a bang. With a, bang. a nice little deal. A nice little 4.5. Shout out, Devil's Dungeon.